Hi, this is Lucas, with a brand new tutorial. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to create this simple but good game known as Arknoid or Breakout or Brick Game and more. So, let's see what it's going to look like in the end. I'm going to create it in Unity and I'm going to use JavaScript as my language. So let's see the final result of how it is going to look. So, as you may have seen, it is quite a good game, although it is simple, but I'm going to show you how to do it from top to bottom. So I'm going to delete this file. <laughs> I don't think you want to you want me to do that because you want it in the description, but that's the tutorial is all about. So let's begin. First open Unity. Before I start, I want to tell you that um, in the description you have a link to this folder which contains all the resources that will be in, in the game, like the backgrounds and the sounds of um, uh, the game objects. So let's create a new project. I'm going to put the a new folder in the desktop, name it Breakout Game. Select the folder and create. Okay, so the layout is ready. Now, we have to begin the game. So, the first thing is to select the main camera and change its projection to orthographic because it is going to be a 2D game as you may have seen um, uh, in the earlier application that I opened. So now we have to create some game objects which will be contained in the game. So to do that go to game object create other and cube and we are going to create the pedal which is going to be underneath here moving from one side to another. So uh, rename the cube to pedal and let's change some values. So the position of the pedal will be x0, y minus 85 and z or z0. The z is important to be 0, always 0. So the scale will be x36, y4 and z or z2. And now, as you can see, the pedal is right here. So after the pedal has been completed, we need to add a tag for that pedal so that in the scripting, we can later on refer to it as, for example, pedal. So we are going to create a tag. So go here in the inspector, select the pedal and here in the drop down, choose add tag. Drop down this menu and add ped and write pedal near the element zero and press enter. Now select again the pedal and the tag now you should have pedal. Just select it. And now the pedal is tagged with a pedal tag. Now the next thing is to create um, the ball. So go again game object create other and select sphere. Rename, rename that sphere to ball. Now, go here in the in this little um, uh, gear icon, um, uh, click it and select a set position so that it the ball is in the center of the screen. Now let's scale it up a bit. Um, uh, 
scale them up by 5, so 6 on the x axis, 6 on the y axis, and 6 on the z axis. And we should have the ball as well. Now, the next thing is to create some light as the pedal and the ball are dark as you can see it is very easy so we need to go to game object create other and choose directional light and as you can see it is already giving some light to the objects we have to rotate it a bit so that the light is better so position it wherever you want it doesn't affect the rotation uh, the rotation will affect though the lighting so the rotation on X will be 39.4 and the Y will be let's leave it 330 yes that's good so 330 is good and we have that simple lighting now after that's ready we need to add the walls on the border of the screen as I'm showing you so that the ball can bounce around them and you can continue obviously playing the game so let's create them um, uh, go to game object create other and cube now reset again the position and rename it to top wall now the scale will be x1 y y287.8 sorry for that um let's change the x axis to 87.8 and the y leave it 1 and as you can see then this is the horizontal wall so and Z you can leave it one or change it to two doesn't matter so now we have to change obviously the position to put it on top right about here so drag the Y to approximately somewhere about 100 let's say 100 you can obviously maximize the game no it doesn't go let's let's change the the scale of y a bit more so that it is a bit thicker to four let's change it to four and move the y a bit upwards like 102 102 let's make it 102 102 is perfect so the final the final values are the position of the top wall are x0 y102 and z0 and the scale is x to 287.8 y4 and z2 or 1 as you wish just don't make it zero now after the, the top wall has been done we need to duplicate that layer so right click duplicate and we need to rename that to right wall so now copy the value of the x axis and paste it in the y axis and change the x axis again to 4 so that it is the same as the y instead of rotating it because it is more efficient like this so as some problems can arise when rotating and stuff like that so let's move a bit this wall on the X so something like that should do let's try one three three a little bit more let's try like that no. one three four I think should do one hundred and thirty four yes that's excellent so the x position is 134 y 0 z 0 and the scale is x 4 y 287.8 and z 2 
Now we need to duplicate that right wall, Control D or right click duplicate and rename that to left wall. After that is done, change the position of X from 134 to minus 134 so that it is on the opposite side and that should do. So as you can see right now, we have the walls right here. This is the left, this is the top and this is the right so that the ball can bounce around them. So the next thing is to add a tag to the walls so that um, later on we can add some things when the ball hits the walls. So um, let's do the same thing again like we did with the pedal. So go select one of the walls, go to tag, add tag, drop down this menu and add another element this time near element one and name it wall. So now select all the walls one by one and give them the tag wall. As you can see wall, wall and wall tag on the three of them. So the next thing is to make the ball fall and bounce so that later on we can make it move around with no gravity etc. So select the ball go to component physics rigid body and in the inspector you should have this so if we play it we can see the ball falling now because it is using gravity but it is not bouncing so the next thing is to create a material that will add to the ball and make it bouncy so go on the assets right here in the project tab right click create physics material not material but physics material and name it bouncy so change the bounciness to one friction combine minimum and bounce combine maximum now after that is complete you sh you should drag this uh, material onto the ball game object right there and you can see here in the sphere collider the material bouncy now if you play the ball should bounce on the pedal that's right so that is done as well now the last thing in this tutorial is to create um, uh, some prefabs prefabs will serve instead of the game objects because we need to instantiate which means that we have to create the game objects from nothing so instead of having them in the in the scene like here like the ball we need to from from nothing we need to create it so prefabs will do the job for us obviously with some coding so we we have to do it, to do them now we need to organize some of the assets so right click on the assets and we'll create some folders so one of them will be materials and drag the bouncy into the materials create another folder and name it scripts later on we'll use it create a new folder and name it prefabs which are, we are going to use now and let's create another folder named scenes for now that should do so the next thing we have to create prefabs as i said so said so so enter the prefabs folder right click create and choose prefab and this white cube should come up name that cube to ball because we are going to create a prefab of the ball game object it is the same thing it will hold the same game object but it will be a prefab and can be instantiated that's the difference so after the prefab is created and named drag the ball game object 
onto the ball prefab and the icon should change and we can see that a prefab has been created because of this blue cube so after the ball has been created we need to delete it from the scene as later on we are going to instantiate the ball from near the pedal as you have seen in the game the last thing before we conclude because i forgot is to add the block the block which the ball is going to hit right about here or in the, in the in the space above so let's go ahead and create a cube and name it block so now we need to give it a bit of scaling so the position make it sorry for that make it zero reset position zero 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 and the scale on x is 90 19 sorry y is 8 and z is 2 and that should do right about that, that size doesn't matter the position because we are going to create a prefab as well for the block and we are going to instantiate them as well because it is not only one block now the next thing is to add a tag to the block as well so add tag as usual near element to add block select the block again and add a block tag and that's done as well so now we have to create a prefab of the of the block sorry and so right click in the in the prefab prefabs folder create prefab and name it block as well drag the block onto the white cube and a prefab of the block is created as well as you can see from the blue cube and we can delete that as well from the hierarchy and now as you can see we have only the pedal and the walls so let's final the final thing is to save the scene file save scene let's save it in the scenes folder and name it game because it will hold the actual game itself and later on we are going to add more scenes for example for the menu game over u1 etc but that is not a big deal so save and after it save you can close it obviously so thanks for watching this first tutorial of the breakout game hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next tutorial thanks again